A Boeing is the world's largest aircraft and aerospace manufacturer. It is based in Seattle, United States of America. Okay, so importantly, it manufactures the jets, of course, 787, 737, 777, 767 and the likes. But it is also a fairly significant defense contractor. It makes satellites for the military in the U.S. and then all the bombers and other planes, for example. And Mr. Trump, as Wayne said a moment ago, says he's going to build a military so big that no one's going to mess no, with the United States This is where States the anymore. conversation gets very heated. We're sitting mm. with a market cap of 87.8 billion US dollars, trading on a PE of 22.1, paying a dividend of 3%. This one must have rallied. It did, it did really, but understand defense is relatively a small component of this. Now, now Boeing is obviously yes. fascinating, been around here forever. They have a forward order book of something like six and a half thousand commercial airplanes which is worth something like 400 or 500 billion dollars mm. so there's no shortage of demand <laughs> they're having problems with their 777 by the way they mm. they're very worried about competition in that and they might ah. cut back production of is this is the 787 dreamliner no it's a 777 seven, 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 it's a 777 yeah. seven, not the not the dreamliner yeah. but Clearly, defence spending I is still going want to go. Look at the share price graph. Look, uh, other companies like Raytheon and Northrop Grumman and the likes Pause were up for more a yesterday. I mean, look at that yeah. uh, surge up towards the end. No, of no, there's clearly a, it, it's seen as a benefit. But you know, as as Paul was saying, this is not nearly as big in defence as in defence as Northrop Grumman yeah. or, or Raytheon and the satellites and use. It's not nearly as big. Well, the big is question, is there going to be further upside? I mean, is this just, again, that initial rally, the market absorbing it, commentary positive for the defence stocks? And as you say, Boeing with very little defence exposure. Look, no, look, when I say very little, it's probably 25% yeah. of their book. So I mean, a, quarter, so a quarter of the yeah, company. Yeah, a quarter of the book is that. Look, I think the outlook for Boeing is actually quite positive. With an order book that size, they're just going to get through the 777 problem. Which, and they've had this before. It's not yeah. new to them. They will get through this, and they can literally keep the factories churning into the distant future and still make money on it. So even without Trump and without the defense, this is not a bad... Because we know that, you know, in China alone, there's six airlines that have got these multiple orders in. And, um, you know, Airbus is there and it's a competitive industry. And I think the market has sort of gotten a bit irritated with Boeing recently because of the earnings misses, because of the problems in the pipeline. So it's not without its risk. But think about it. It's possible even that there could be some innovation at the level of the International Space Station. You know, basically under the Democrats, NASA was getting less and less and less every year. Who knows, though? I don't know. I think a lot of pain taken by those who thought that it was a good idea to short these stocks, given yeah, sure. the, the fact that they thought that uh, Clinton was going to come Because that through. could explain some of the rallies. So yes. know, let's be generous. It's possible that this could still be some heavy sledding coming up. Hot or not on Boeing? I'll go hot, actually. Paul, hot or not? Yeah, I like the outlook for the global uh, air travel industry, so I'm going to go hot on that grounds as well.